Hi, Fred Wheeler here. I want to do a movie review on Homefront. This has got James Franco in it. It is a Jason Stantham movie, so it's an action movie. When I had a writer, it has Kate Bonsworth in it, and it is written by Solvester, Solvester Stallone. Uh, this could potentially be a really good movie. What we get is your basic story, which is your ex-drug enforcement agent trying to escape his past and can't, and it is a Jason Stantham beat him up revenge story what he usually does. The actors are doing a pretty bad job as far as I'm concerned. The, the cliche characters are all through the whole thing. The best character, I have to say, is probably uh, the kid. And Kate Bonsworth does a pretty good job of playing a drugged up whore. She does a pretty good job. I, I could not recognize her initially. It took me a little while to figure that one out. Uh, Jason, Jason Stantham plays exactly the same character he's played in all of his movies and he kicks ass as he usually does uh, the movie is full of has-been actors and for good reason they really aren't very good at what they do anymore and they are picking up what's left over and this is leftovers the script is the usual junk it's quite painful uh, the actual camera work looks like a overly priced TV movie with an R rating. And the special effects, well you get your bullets, blood, gunfights, car chase, well at least one car chase in there, your martial arts and the punches up and uh, then you've got more blood and yada 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 yada. Uh, the soundtrack, well you know we get the, the blues southern rock, I actually kind of like the blues southern rock, it was quite nice. Uh, the actual editing, at this point, I really don't care. It doesn't matter. Uh, the atmosphere, it's really a nasty, violent drug story with bullies, murders, and uh, murdering. And, and it's just a revenge story. It's length, really, way too long, and I can't ever get that time back in my life, and I feel like I've been cheated in some way. It was very cheap. I only paid like three or four bucks for it. But I wouldn't watch it again. It really is a waste of your time and effort.